All right, Avid family, here we are. Uh, first task of the year is going to be to put together your Avid binder. Now, what do you think of when you think of an Avid binder? Do you think of this? Now, that might be a little daunting when you look at it. That's a big three inch binder and it is full of papers and a little bit of folders and dividers. But if you look at it, you know what's cool about this? You know what I like about this? What you have here is organization. Look at this stuff. That's awesome. All the papers are in line, right? You don't see anything sticking out over here. And then a big weather front is going to come in on Friday. Oh, wait, just kidding. Um, but seriously, it's a big binder. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but it's very well organized, and that's what we're looking for. So how do I get there, you might be asking yourself. Well, here's the deal. You were given today your Avid Binder check for weeks one and two. Week one, we are going to check tomorrow, okay? So hopefully you've got some materials that you can put together. If not, you can um, have your parents write a little note in this box here. Let's say for this one you didn't have any subject dividers. They can write no subject dividers and put their parent signature. Um, you know, I don't want everything here filled out saying we don't have this stuff. I'm assuming you're going to have some of these things. And if you even wanted to, you could run out tonight and buy some, you know. But if you can't get them tonight, you have until next Friday where we're going to do binder check number two and everything will be checked. Um, but the good news is, is that there is some extra credit stuff on this form, which I'll show you later. And also, one of your binder checks, the lowest one for the um, trimester, will be dropped. And if that happens to be this first one, well, then just fine. But, you know, if you don't have it right now, get your parents' signature. So, here you go. You got your form, and there's your form. You gotta love this toy. Here's your binder. It's not gonna say that. This is only, I think, an inch and a half, so you need a bigger one. But, it's gonna show you everything that we need anyway. The first item on the checklist is in the materials. You should have a two to three inch binder. Um, if you need one, let me know. I have some. And you can spend dojo points, which you'll be earning in Avid, to get them. Um, I'll give it to you now, and you can pay me the dojo points later. You have to have the binder now. So you get five points for that. Um, inside your, what's this called, a pouch? Whee! Yeah, this thing is a pouch. Can I move it around? Let's see. Oh, that is too cool. In this pouch, you should have two pens, two pencils, at least one eraser, um, and at least one highlighter, all right? And if you have more, then that's going to be just fine, okay? Over on this side is where your planner should be. Planner should be in the front before you do any subject dividers, all right? And you get five points for both of those things. So if you've got your zipper pouch on the very first thing, and then your planner next, you're going to get all sorts of points for that. Next come the subject dividers. For you guys, you should have six of them. I only have five, because I only teach four classes plus AVID, uh, but you have four classes, AVID and PE. Now, my eighth graders already know this. I like to do things chronologically, so my first tab is always my first period. Second tab is second, and so on, all right? You don't have to do it that way. You can do it alphabetical. I don't know if people like to do it in different fashions. Just as long as you put the name of each class in these tabs, um, I will be looking for that when we're doing your binder check tomorrow um, or next week, depending on when you first get those. Um, make sure you have it organized in that manner. And it does say in the bottom of the organization section, subject dividers for notes, optional with extra paper. If you wish, you can have 12 dividers in here. And after, you know, so you have math first period, the first one could be handouts, second one could be... Um, a divider for extra paper, okay? But you don't have to do that. And then finally, when we get down to the AVID section, right here, um, you should have a separate divider for AVID. You know that. That's your last class of the day. Um, but then another divider, which is required for AVID notes and extra paper. Because here you're going to be putting your binder grade sheet with tutorials all in one section, which you'll understand more when we do binder checks. This is where you put all your AVID stuff, any handouts that I give you, and any notes. So you do need two different sections for AVID. Now, you can get 15 points of extra credit this week and next week if you have a little pocket dictionary thesaurus. I don't want you to bring a big full-size one or grab one off my shelf. Come on now. Um, or some kind of calculator that can fit in your backpack. 
at least a six inch ruler. Most people buy foot long, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. Um, so you could potentially get some extra credit. All right, any questions about this? Let me know tomorrow, but you should be able to set up the binder pretty well. Good luck.